Does that look like a hand? the triple o rustic design sawmill today and we're gonna try something new here at the shop so you're looking in front of me and you're like wait a second that log isn't supposed to sit on the sawmill like that so i saw this video because of one of our commenters somebody i can't find the comment now but somebody put in the comment that we should try this method of sawing and they put a link to a video i'm gonna put a link to that same video in our description below if you want to see what i'm talking about but basically in that video, it shows a guy taking a log, sticking it like this, like wedging it down on one side and up in the air on the other side and sawing it. And what it does is it creates these oval shaped cookies. So what I've got in front of me is a small little cedar log. It's an Eastern red cedar. And as you've seen in some of our previous videos, when we cut into it, it creates this really nice dark red color. Well, some of these small cedar logs are too little, like they're too small in diameter to clamp down on here and try to saw. It's actually pretty difficult to saw some of these little skinny logs. So what we've decided to do today is we're gonna test out this oval cookie, oval slab making method. And I think it's gonna turn out pretty cool. So this little cedar log has a bunch of different limbs that were coming off of it. So the inside should have a bunch of knots and some really cool figure. Triple L Rustic Designs is about to become a distributor for ice epoxy. So being that we're messing with epoxy pretty much every day here at the shop, I think by making some of these oval shaped cookies, we'll be able to make some really awesome epoxy projects. I also get emails almost every day from you guys watching these YouTube videos, and it seems like everyone's number one interest is the Eastern Red Cedar whether it be slabs boards or small little cookies that's what everybody's always asking for so hopefully this turns out really cool and we can make some really neat oval live edge slabs this is going to be our first time ever doing this so we're going to practice on this small little cedar log and if it turns out really cool we're going to grab some of the bigger longer cedar logs and try it on them as well all right let's get the sawmill fired up Does that look like a hand? So we got some cool designs in the beginning, but now we're getting just pretty much round cookies. And those are cool too, but we wanna get more of that longer profile. So I'm gonna take this log out of the wedge, I'm gonna put it up on top, and then I'm just gonna wedge up the one side to get more of that longer oval cut.
higher than that. Actually, this may hold it. Where? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I'll turn it so it's, it's the same. Yeah, actually, that's pretty good. All right, so we lifted the log up and brought it where we can get more of those longer cuts. And I think this is going to work out pretty good. We're definitely going to get some cooler stuff. We had just a little bit of the log left. So what we did now was stood it straight up in the air. And now we're just gonna cut some nice little cookies off of it. Some round cookies. All right, so we just got finished with that experiment and they don't necessarily look like ovals, but they do have some really cool designs and I definitely can see us making some really cool projects out of them. If you guys are interested in purchasing some of these little slabs and these little tiny cookie slabs, let me know in the comment section below. I could easily throw a couple of these up on our Etsy account and ship them out to you anywhere in the United States. Guys, that's going to do it for this video. I know it was short and sweet, but if you liked it, make sure you press that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for all of our future videos. We'll see you on the next one.